Welcome to the 20 Minute Gamer channel. I'm your host, Nick, and this is a demo of Lethal Honor, Order of the Apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> I just got done playing about 15 minutes of this just so that I could kind of see what it was all about. And we're going to just one minute of your time. We're going to jump right into it. This is like someone said, I want to take Max Payne. I want to make Max Payne with Cyber Ninja from Metal Gear Solid and and Hades. It's a roguelite as a ninja, but it's done in a comic book style. It is so freaking I want to use an expletive. Amazing. This is such a fun game. Jumping into it. Let's go. Don't be fooled. This is not a fairy tale. It's not a story with a happy ending. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck am I wearing? Because no matter how hard you try, you can't save everyone. <sighs> All right. We can't go back that way. It swarmed with those things. Let's go. There's barely enough power to keep the lights on. This place is a mess. Their comic book style is just, it's absolutely <laughs> stunning. <laughs> It is absolutely stunning. I look at it. Okay, okay, look at this, ladies. When you dash, it pulls up a the tutorial has comic book panels. It has comic book panels. This sorry, this is so amazing. And then they split when you frigging amazing. It is like it is so well done. So well done. Let's fucking go! Come on, Cyber Ninja! Come on, Great Fox! Took a hit there. I am just so excited about this. I'm being careless. That's my fault. Absolutely no sense. And they told me that they would be here when they decided to wake me up. If I had known that my welcoming committee would be this bunch of raging monsters, I wouldn't have signed this contract. I wonder how long they kept me in that capsule. I feel dizzy, but I'm somehow stronger. They definitely have some explaining to do. If I managed to get out of here alive, that is. A woman. Oh, this better not be a trap. But if there's really another person left alive in this lab, I should probably help her out. And maybe she has some answers to what happened down here. All right, sorry. I uh, I ducked away so I could uh, just check the audio, yeah, make they sure could the audio have at least was working. Specified that working here would entail fighting against fucking monsters and wearing skid tight body suits. I love that this guy's from, like, Boston. I wish they would have told me this place. Fucking monsters! I swear to God, we got artifacts. They're magical relics that unleash powerful effects when certain conditions are met. You don't need to activate them manually. He sort of has, like, a, a rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy, you know? Kind of a... Come on, baby, come on. God, this cell shading is just freaking beautiful, too. Modules can be equipped to increase the current agent's stats. 
The new module is looted while module slots are in use. They may override an old module. Fair enough. Understood. Let's go. I want to learn more stuff. I love that animation. That is so awesome. I've seen these ones before. These fuckers will shield their friends. I need to attack with all I have to break the shields. Or shove them against a wall or an obstacle. <laughs> that also does the trick. Let's go! Yep, I got it. like health potion right now. Modules. Got myself a module. What's with all these rocks? Am I underground? Maybe. I don't know, man. Let's get this dude. Open chest mouth guy! You got nothing on me. Fucking huge. I would have never been able to kill something like that before. What have they done to me? My body feels different. Ah! The sound of her voice, it sounds so familiar. And she knows my name. Could it be? I'll find you, cat! Hold on! My cat. We were so happy together. <laughs> so excited for our baby girl Val. I swear, I was a good cop. They set me up. And it worked. I got fired and started drinking. A lot. I needed money and got an offer to work for the Yakuza. I became what they accused me of being in the first place. Cat gave me an ultimatum. Either I pulled myself together, or she would leave me. I didn't take her seriously, so she left. And I didn't blame her. I still don't. But I couldn't go on. <laughs> Not like this. He's almost ready. Cat. My cat. Let's go. Another artifact. It looks like it's going to have a good story anyway, uh, or at least some semblance of a story. I think some games come along and uh, they promote some kind of a story element and there's really nothing there. Who are you? Are you the one who's been calling me? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Aaron. I'm Ada, the chief of development at the Cradle in the Laboratory. Chief of what? We'll talk about it later. The important thing is that I woke you up. We need you. Need me? Yeah, I, I think the important thing here is that you and your scientist friends failed to tell me that I'd have to fight against fucking monsters. <laughs> He's still on about those monsters. Technically, they're demons. 
I am sorry, Aaron. The attack caught us by surprise. I had no choice but to wake you up early. Uh, you owe me a better explanation than that. You should get down here so we can talk properly about this mess. Hmm. The doors are malfunctioning. We will meet later. I promise to explain everything. But you need to mend your wounds first. Wounds? I, I don't feel anything. Hmm. Your system blocks the synaptic receptors for pain. It helps agents to still concentrate on their tasks while being wounded. <laughs> Open that med bag that's attached to your What's suit. What's this supposed to be? Hmm. It's a regen nano machine. If you plug it into your neck, it'll greatly accelerate, greatly accelerate your healing abilities. You expect me to stab myself in the neck with this weird syringe? Mm -hmm. Aaron, it will heal you. You just have to trust me. I'm not convinced. Mm. I get your skepticism, but you don't have a lot of options here if you want to survive. I guess you're right. LT, use a consumable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> we need to hurry and get to the awakening room. It's safe enough for us to talk there. How do I get there? Follow the corridor, the door at the end. We push both buttons, we can open it. We need to hurry. They're getting closer. Uh, they're, they're already here. I have to take care of this first. This guy sounds like he's from Worcester, Massachusetts. Baby, come on, get these guys. That felt good. That felt real good. Another artifact, Berserk Medicine, when the agent's current health decreases below 30%, my attacks were increased. Got it. my specials as best as I can. I think I, I don't do that often enough. I don't use specials in games, and it causes me to get whacked out more. Excellent. Push the button. We can get out of here. Finally. Mm. Follow me. The awakening room is near. More modules. Sure. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of like recycled floor plans. Uh oh. Dad. Hey. Did you hear that? Hmm. I didn't hear anything. But since your senses have been enhanced, I suppose that's normal. It's a little girl crying in the distance. Aaron, there are no children in the laboratory. You're under stress, and your body needs to adjust. I know what I heard, Ada. You're hiding something from me. The cause could be some issue with your suit. <laughs> Daddy. Val? I recognize her voice. Wait for me! I'm coming! <sighs> Aaron, no, not that way. Wait for me. <sighs> I knew it was too early to wake him up. He isn't ready. What is 
going on? Weapon skill. Attacking enemies charges the weapon skill. Uh, every weapon has a unique skill to use. Okay. Here's the weapon skill. Okay. I love the cutaways. I love how it, yeah, how, how it, yeah, the scenery cuts away. I, I really enjoy that. Like. Nice. That was like a uh, photo finish slice on that guy. Stop, Aaron. There is no one there. No. I'm certain it was my daughter. I have to help her. No. We are in a laboratory under a mountain on an island in the middle of the ocean. It cannot be your daughter. Am I going crazy then? Your people promised me a second chance. A way to start a new life. You knew that I was at my lowest and preyed on my weakness just to turn me into a killing machine for your own benefit. Lethal honor turned you into an agent to fight for the greater good. What's happening here is so much bigger than all those issues you had in your past life. Hmm. Please, Aaron, calm down. If you would just follow me and listen for a second, I could explain everything. Okay, okay. I'm calm. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Val, it is you. Where are you? Here it comes. Come, little being. I shall take you to her. Uh, Angron. <laughs> From the World Eaters? Word bearers, excuse me. I believe that's more accurate. <gasps> it's a demon prince. Mortimer, what are you doing here? Have you been helping them? Save yourself, Ada. If there's any chance that he has Val, I'll need to help her. I'll try to buy some time for you. I'm guessing this is where I die. Fuck! Too strong! I make you the same offer I made before. Let me pass, and I will let you go. Go home. See your family. You are the last hope for those people. Goddamn right. Through, demon. Where is Val? What did you do to her? It is way too easy to play tricks on you pathetic humans. Your endeavors as a police officer, a father, and a husband fall short of your true nature. The frailest example of your own species. It was my mistake to let you deceive me like that. But I will not let you slaughter more people if I can prevent it. It pays to be selfish in situations like these. Get out of my way, and I might just let you live. I turned my back on what 
what was right once. And it cost me everything I had. If I go down, I will at least have the satisfaction of taking you right down to hell with me. <laughs> As you wish, little being. Your sacrifice will be meaningless. Let's, you will let's make go. a fine sacrifice. Versus Shader Demon. Die. This isn't a story with a happy ending. Aaron's sacrifice served its purpose. Thanks to him, we were still alive. Or at least we lived a little longer. 
Agents are physically perfect, but other than that, they aren't any different from us. Broken, conflicted people. We all failed. We all seek forgiveness. Does their sacrifice redeem them? I don't know, but at least they gave us time to think about it. Where do we go from here? We wish list it. That's what we do. We just unlocked a new weapon. Go and smash some demons with the war hammer. You can also talk to Ada in the awakening room. Okay, cool. So this is where the roguelite aspect pulls in. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. So we're going to play as this uh, mamacita here. Uh, stop wasting my time. Let's get some work done. Uh, map modification. Mortimer can improve the creation of modifications. Uh, okay. I think that makes sense. What is this? Interact. Uh, conduct some research. Cradle improvement. Ada can improve the awakening conditions of each agent. Okay, so each agent that awakens, you can improve their stats. Um... Okay. And map of the island. Use this map to select an area for the next agent to visit. This button allows you to relive the opening story of the selected area. Cool. So I can replay the tutorial if I wanted. Nice. I don't think I need to. I think I just did. Did I just do that? Oh. Oh my god, weapon switch. Press the button to switch your weapon. Oh my god, I want to use this so bad. I want to use this so bad. We're probably going to go after this. But I want to use this. Battle. Yeah, I guess let's do this. I don't, I don't know what this is. Yes! Slow and powerful, dude. Just like it should be. Gray Fox has never been happier, everybody. Item drops. Currencies that can be used. Looks like I can like I can like hold Okay. So I can hold an attack quickly and then with my other weapon I can kind of do Okay. Yes. The shadow. While exploring and looting, the agents will accumulate shadow energy. When a threshold is met, the shadow will increase uh, with each... Okay. So shadows allow me to get additional loot. Enchantments. When the agent performs a perfect dash, there's a chance to apply bless to the enemy. Blessed blade thrust attacks. Uh, yeah, I like that better. I mean, I do happen to do tons of perfect dodges, so... I think we're gonna go ahead and pop smoke on this one. 
But if you want to see more of this demo, go ahead and drop a like, drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to go ahead and run through some more of it. Um, quite honestly, I am enjoying this and I'm probably going to play a lot more of the demo anyways. So, uh, we going. So we're going this way. Either way you slice it. I will see you on the next one. Stay safe, everybody. Nick out.